Hey, Moral Gamers, you ready for a game that hates you? Yeah, I'm kicking off this way because we're looking at Blood of the Werewolf, PC, Xbox 360. So how's this one going to stack up? Keep watching. Blood of the Werewolf is old school as it comes, okay? It's using the modern graphics, yes, but the game is like playing old school NES games, old school Atari games. It's the type where you have to have precision jumps, precision timing. Otherwise, you're screwed. And I love that. I, guys, I love the games that really make you try and get your timing down, understanding the system, and figuring out what the rhythm is to jumping. I love that very much because it's not like these modern games that just hold your hand and say, Oh, you precious little snowflake, let's go do this and everything's fine, everything's fine, you can be okay. No, these are the games that actually challenge you. And even though this one averages like three bucks on Steam, you get your money's worth out of this game because there's a lot to play and it still maintains its fun. Now, the backstory is, is that... Chica here, her kid's been stolen by Dracula, she's after him, she's a werewolf, and so anytime the moonlight hits you, you become a wolf, anytime you're out of the moonlight, you're the Chica, and that's it. Um, the story's not that interesting, it's just kind of fun to, you know, throw a Russian accent in there and make fun of Volvolika and stuff, yeah, you know, it's, okay, bad Russian accent, whatever, but still, it's kind of fun, you know, one to, you know, rip on a little bit, but the gameplay is really what's solid here, and I... I strongly recommend this from a gamer standpoint because, like I said, I just I can't recommend it enough. It's easy to play, a little harder on PC than Xbox 360 though, because you do have to move the ridicule around, try and figure out which direction you're aiming when you're playing as her, not in her wolf form. You know, and the wolf form seems a little overpowered at times, but they figure out ways to knock you back still. Um, oh, good references too, by the way. Keep watching the billboards behind; you'll get it. Morally speaking, okay, you're dealing with demons, vampires, mythological creatures, children of the night, and all that other stuff. You have issues with that. That's the chief thing you may not want your kid playing. Next up, you have blood, some gore, stuff like that. Don't want your kids playing. And um, that's really, really all I can strongly complain about in this one uh, from a moral standpoint because they... It's like old school. It seems like they tried to tone it down enough so that it is uh, comparable to something you play on Super Nintendo, but nevertheless, you're still dealing with those themes, so hey. Remember, though, if you like this review, like, subscribe, comment, and share, because we do enjoy hearing from you. We're the Moral Gamer, moralgamer.com. We hope to see you next time.